This is the plaintiff, Natasha Fontanet. She says the defendant's her boyfriend's buddy, who was in jail and asked her to cash his government stimulus check for him. And she agreed to do it for $250. Then, a few weeks later, when the defendant got out of jail, he called the bank to say the check was cashed fraudulently. $1,200 was deducted from her account, and the defendant won't pay her back the $1,200 she's now out. That's why she's suing. This is the defendant, Anthony Lindsay. He says he never received the $1,200 stimulus check the government was giving out. So the IRS opened an investigation, and they traced the check to the plaintiff. He never asked her to do anything illegal. She stole his check and is now suing him? If anyone's owed money today, it's him. He's accused of conducting funny business. The defendant has bought a cattle suit for $500 for money owed to him. All parties, please raise your right hand. The Supreme Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Marilyn Williams now presiding. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. All right. Uh, Natisha Fontenot, you are suing Anthony Lenzi for $1,200 that you say he owes you and refuses to repay. You have a counterclaim against her for $500 that you say she still owes you. Let's talk about what happened between you folks. How is it that you two know each other? Okay, front and center, please. And this is who? This is my boyfriend. And what's your name? Demorius. All right. Now, you two are the ones who are friends. Yes, or were. Yes, okay. All right. Now... You get a call from him asking you to do what? No, I reached out to him when I found out that the inmates can get stimulus because he's my buddy and I had been looking out for him while he was down there. And I wanted to, you know, look How out for him. How did you reach out to somebody in jail? They, oh. they communicate. Yeah, oh, they, they were pay. communicating. He was calling him. Okay, so, yeah. so he reaches out to you and you just inform. tell him, hey, you know, even though the government is providing you with three hots and a cot while you're in custody, you still get money to buy food and, and stimulus check, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Is this a great country or what? Yes, How long were you in custody? Uh, four and a half years. Four and a half years. Yes, ma'am. And everyone in custody was able to get a stimulus check. Yes, ma'am. Hot damn. <laughs> it's just something, huh? Okay. All right. So, and is he the one who clued you into that? Yes, ma'am. All right. So then what do you ask him to do? He, uh, he told me he would file it for me. Okay, and, and were you so going to be paying him anything in return for him filing no, it for you? he was just going to file it for me. He was just going to do it for you? Yes. Is that accurate? She was going to do it for him, and she was charging a fee. Yeah, but she was charging him a fee, but she's not talking to him. So how does he know he's supposed to pay a fee? Like, oh, how does that I happen? Was, I talked to him. I wrote him in the JPay, and he was like, go, and I told him I could do it for him, and she wanted to charge a fee. So let me, I called JPay because I even... What is JPay? JPay is a way that you can communicate with inmates in the state of Texas. I don't know if it's everywhere. Matter of fact, you have a copy of the of the monies that I sent to him through JPay. I'd That's like to see. I'd like you to pull up the JPEG account. So, according to you guys, he agrees to pay the 250 service charge that 200. you're charging him for yeah, what? For what? The 250. Because I know how easy it is to get that stimulus check, but you're charging him yeah, 250. I, because it's my time. It's your time. It's five minutes. It's not it, even it's five, five minutes. Five minutes. It's of one my minute. Time. It's one. one you make 250, 250 dollars for a minute. Hey, All right. So you're his too. good friend, but she's going to charge 250 bucks to right. do that, right? Yeah, I don't know how to do that. That was. I'm looking out for my buddy. You're looking out for her too. If you're telling him, "Hey, you got to pay 250 to get the service done." Well, you know, that's my. He didn't have nobody out here to do it for him. So I reached out to him and let him know because I was already sending him money, and kept paying. So that's my buddy. I didn't mind. Hey, but I gotta go. If she's gonna do it, and she say she want this. And I'll put the information What is, is this a him. screenshot or is this No, that is the website and his name is the, you, you see and his name. And this is how you communicate? You communicate with. Can uh, you send money too? And you can send money. All right. So according to you then, you're going to get $250 and he tells you that through JPay, you say. I'm, I, it wasn't 250 it was 200 The okay. numbers is wrong. Okay. So it was $200. I told him that, hey, I'll. Tell him that. And then he says that. to you, okay, he's fine with exactly. it. And according to you, you. He communicates with you through JPay that he's fine with it, right? Right. Telling him that I had his money. Okay, when did you get his money? I got his money, I'm going to say maybe February. 
You think it was February? That I don't you got know, I put it in the drawer. And, and then 90 days is going to pass, right? Right. So I'm like, okay, well, I need to cash the check for him. So do you communicate with him about that? No, because he had got locked up too. <laughs> so he, he got locked up he too. Got, he got locked up. He was already locked up, and I'm sitting with a check in my hand. Okay, so what do you do? So I'm like, okay, let me cash the check. Okay, did I, anybody give you permission to cash the check? No. Okay, so you cash a check, and then the money goes into your account? To My your account? account? Yes, ma'am. When does the money go into your account? April. What happened between February and April? The money was just, the check was just sitting there. Okay. So in April, you deposit it into your own account, and right. what do you do? How and do you communicate with him? him? That's when my JPay come in, not okay. his. So you JPay him and say what to I him? I say, hey, I have, this is D's girl, D being him, and I said, you know, I have, and I also sent him $250 through JPay. You sent him 250 bucks? Right. Did you get that $250 in your commissary? No. Well, according to her, she sent you through JPay. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Did she? Didn't she tell you I sent you two fifty? I didn't How know. How did you she, end up sending two fifty of him. all things? I didn't know who she well, was. Well, because that's the max that you could send. So, and you sent two fifty because he asked you to send it. No, I sent two fifty because it's his money. Because did she? Did she reach out to you and I say? I got a JPay fan. This is Natasha. Not that did she marry his girlfriend. She didn't tell me that well, she uh, had no, my stimulus. But she did reach out all to you. All it said, I got a JPay and I got something for you. It didn't say no money. It said, I got something so for do, you. So doesn't she give you her number and don't you call her? I got the number. I called her when I got out because I can't call her in the penitentiary. Okay. Well, you can. Right. right? You just But when tonight. I got out, before, you I reached out. In, before I got in touch with her, I had already, because I hadn't received my $1,200 stimulus. Well, how would and, you know? You don't know until you get exactly. out. Exactly. And by that time, I had refiled the paper in prison. Right. So in other words, you decide that you're going to apply for it, but because, you've already asked him to apply for I it. But I didn't hear back from him saying that well, he had to You guys are best friends. You're talking whenever you can. Like, does the conversation come up? Before he got arrested, he told me. When did you get arrested? Uh, right before Halloween, October 29th, 28th, something like that. Okay, so he and gets he arrested me, before the check comes. He told me everybody else had got their checks and I never received the All check. Right. So now she reaches out to you in April and says, But I, she don't tell me it's my stimulus. I don't even know. Okay, what but when she gives you the number and you call her, you call her finally when you're when you're out of custody. Right, but and what does she say? Put, what does I, she say? I'd already put a track on the check. Okay. The first thing what I does got she out, say? What does she, she say? She just said, I have some money for you. And then you say, How wait, much? Wait, you don't say from what? No. Okay, how do you know? Then because that means you know that she had already asked for your stimulus check. I hadn't still didn't know that was this girl. I didn't know that was this girl. Okay, so when, when some talk. woman you don't know says, right. I got some money for you, cowboy, right. you just got out of jail, how is your first words how much? As opposed to yeah. who are you and why do you have my money? Right. She tell me her name, but I didn't find out who she was until me and him was on the phone one day, and I said, and I still hadn't got no money from her yet, right? I pulled a meter because I kept getting put off. You didn't ask her, why do you have my money? No. I'm talking to the Okay, Demarius. and according to you, is she, is, does he ask you, tell me how the conversation goes. First of all, I t when the J pay, I say, hey, so I can let him know, this is D's girl, I got your money. Me, I put D so he can know that this was the agreement that we had, and then I left my number. When he called me, he's like, hey, Yo, you said you had money for me. I say I put in the email that this is D's girl, this D girl. I said I got your money. Where do you want me to meet you at? I drove 45 minutes from my house and handed him cash money in his hand. How much money did you hand him? It was $700. And you agreed to that, that you got $700, yes, right? Yes, I said that. And yes. Okay, so the first thing you did was call the IRS and clear up this whole problem that you were making a claim on that $1,200, right? No. Oh, I, wait. I already no, filed the claim. I'm, I know you already it. filed it, so you withdrew the claim. Right? You told them, no. wait, wait, I got a, I got a file of the paperwork. I got to let the IRS know because they're going to end up paying you that again. Well, I still haven't received nothing. Yeah, but you know you're gonna, right? Because that's what's happening. And you've got proof that what? He already got the twelve hundred. No, I got proof that oh they took the twelve hundred yeah. back from my account. Yes, of course they did because when he puts in his paperwork, what he's saying to them is. Uh, you know, uh, no one knows where my check is. Right. So your position, hold on a second. Yeah. Your position then is, I gave him everything that, that our agreement him. was. Exactly. Because according to you, you're supposed to get $200. For... But I was going to charge him another 200 to cash it. Why would you charge him Because 200? that's my time. When I called him and I said, I got $700 for you.
And he said, okay, come and bring it. Okay. There's the agreement in my mind. No, that's so, not an agreement. And, and not to that's mention not an it, agreement well, that that's was, all he's going to He just the, wants to get his hands on at least the 700. And it was in the text messages. I said, and, and it was in the text messages that I, that I put in there. I'm a very detailed person. I put 200 to, to process, 200 to cash. But Wait, I, I, Listen, you keep saying that, and all I need from you is this. Watch this. Did you agree to pay her four hundred dollars to do this? I didn't agree to pay nothing. I thought right. they were going to mail me my check in the prison. Right. So here's where account. we are. What I need then from you is proof that he agreed for you to keep some money. So here's the proof. Whenever I got this letter in the mail, I sent it to him, and I said, "You need to call your friend and let him know he already got his money." Now that it's like he's double dipping, and he told Demarius, "Oh, as soon as that check comes in, I'ma give it to you, D, so she can cover the cost of her thing." He told him that on multiple occasions, more than three times, and then he stopped answering his phone calls and texts. Did messages. you tell him well, as soon as I get that twelve hundred dollars, I'll pay her back? I wasn't paying her back the twelve hundred because she still owed me because she only gave me seven hundred dollars cash. I was gonna give her what she gave me. Did you give her what she gave you? Because you're. Because you gave me 700 cash. You know damn well that you asked them to take care of this for you. Then, through a series of unfortunate events, he ends up in prison. She doesn't know how to reach you, I guess. She reached out to me in prison. Okay. She, she reached check. out to you in April. She could have sent me my check because they was mailing the checks into the unit. That's how all the inmates got their check. I and I would have deposited it in my At own At any account. point in time between October and April, did you reach out to her to find out where your check was? The last time I talked to him, he said they never received the check. Yes, that was in October. And the other so people, in between saying, October and April of the, the following year. The other people they had filed for, I wasn't the only one they filed checks for. He did they charge friends. everybody 200 bucks? I don't know, because he didn't tell me he was charging me, because I wouldn't have agreed to it. I wouldn't have agreed to it when I did it for free in the prison. Mm -hmm. I did well, you free. didn't know you could do it for free in the prison until right. later. But I never did hear from, the last time I heard from him, he said, man, everybody get their checks and yours didn't come. So Were you I charging refiled. everybody 200, 250? You told him? Yes, ma'am. You were? No, 200. 200? But I didn't do everybody, though. I, if he wasn't my buddy, I wouldn't even mess with it. And not to mention, when I gave him that money, he was like, oh, yeah, I'm cool. And he took that money like everything was good. And I deleted the text message, and we moved on with life. And then all of a sudden, yeah, but I guess it, it would still be wrong. Your math would still be wrong. Because if you were charging 200, which is what you say you charge, I charge that's 200. what you charge the other guy. Right. You ended up taking 250 from him. Because no, it was two, it was two, the 250 was a mess up because it should have been 400. Yeah, except for I'm not going to buy that because well, you can't just make things up. No, you I'm have to show me proof of things. Right, but, but the proof is not there, but this is what it is. Mm -hmm. I was charging $200 to process it and $200 to cash it. And I told him that in text messages. Except for you charge everybody else only 200 because not 400 Because I didn't cash their checks. It might be, it sounds ridiculous coming out It does out now, because you had that money in your account to play with between November and April. How did you reach out to him in April? Why didn't you just reach out to him in November when you cashed the check? Well, because I thought he was going to reach out to Except him. Except for you know that in October, he, he can't reach out to him and he's in custody, so, so that's I not said, true. I said, okay, let me go through JPay. I didn't know. Yeah, I but didn't, it took you six months? It did, because I didn't think about it. I didn't what made you think it. about it in April? Because I'm like, I need to give this man his money. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? What okay. am I supposed to do? We're done. All right, so here's what's going to happen. Uh, the 700 has already been from you to him. And the 250, we're go I'm going to assume, has already been from you to him. But we're going to help you to find that 250 through J. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll try to help you to find yeah. that so that you can locate that and get, your, get paid that. So she is out 950. Okay. And then there's 200 that I find you did agree okay. to pay for. And then there's $50 still owed to you. Because that uh, she did the math wrong, so she should have given you 750 that day. That's what should have happened that day, but she only gave you 700. And then you need to call the IRS to get that 1200 paid to you, because the IRS already has that 1200 because they already took it out of her account. Mm -hmm. And now you've got a counterclaim against her for 500 dollars for the remaining balance owed. But of course, everything I just said takes care of that, because what's going to happen is what I find to have been the original deal which is she gets 200 not 400 and she has to give you the rest. She's given you 700 and 250 She's going to give you another 50 in court, and that will make you whole, okay? You're okay. suing him for 1200 I just want my account cleared up. I know. Well, you can't get your account clear up is your business. Next time, don't, do, don't force oh, people's checks. Right, yeah, that's your problem. You go do that on your own. He's not going to... He can't clear it back. It isn't a magic wand to clear your bank again. So now you are out $950. Right. Plus... 
your fee of $200, which is a total of $1,150 that you are out while you're standing here. Right? Okay. Okay. Sure. I am ruling in your favor in the amount of the eleven fifty. I'm fine with that. That you are out. That's perfect. Okay. Verdict for the plaintiff in the amount of the one thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. Thank you, Judge. I love you. <laughs> so, in what turned out to be a very complex case, the plaintiff is going to get twelve hundred, eleven hundred fifty dollars. That's just fifty dollars less than she was uh, seeking. Uh, Mr. Lindsay, what are you thinking about this right now? This turned out to be a really tough case. No, I'm thinking it's fair. She gets her money back for a bank account, and I'll just wait on the IRS to send me my check. Well, I'm glad you're out. I'm glad you're free right now, and I hope you get your money, and good luck to you. Thank okay? you. Okay? All right. All right. Uh, I'll get Ms. Fontanette out here and uh, find out how she feels about this case. Ms. Fontanette, how are you? What are you thinking now? You're smiling. You're happy. I am you smiling. love I'm the happy. judge, you said. Yeah, I just want to make sure that my account is in good standing and that I got the money that was owed to me. You are an expensive lady to deal with, you know that? <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you wanted $200 to get the check, another $200 to cash it? Man, you Time are is tough money. stuff. Yeah. Right? <laughs> thank right, you very thank much. Thank you. Good luck to you. Bye-bye. Okay, Harvey, what do you think? <laughs> okay, Doug, look, this case doesn't cross the criminal line, but I got to tell you um, that when you mess around with banks and bank accounts, um, there can be serious, serious trouble. You could easily be committing felonies when you cross that line, felonies that could put you in prison for years. I did a prearrangement for my funeral, paid in full within 90 days so there'd be no interest, but I've changed my mind. And when I called them, they told me my surrender amount would be 5,700 out of the 10,500 I paid. Can I sue them to get the full amount I paid back? It's okay to pre-plan for that sort of thing. I don't think it's a good idea to prepay for that sort of thing. But some thing. people just buy it outright. I, yeah. I, you know, her, her question is, I've, I've, it sounds like she's she... She's got to read the fine print. Exactly. <laughs> the odds are that this contract probably covers this circumstance. It probably does. But, you know, as a consumer, you have to be informed. You have to yeah. know about read, that. you got to read, read what you stuff, sign. Or, or you might have signed that away. But, you know, ideally, I think... You want that last check you write to bounce, don't you? Kind of <laughs> <laughs> right, right at the, the end. The bounces, you got nowhere to rest right, for right. your eternal rest. But right. 